anyway, let's go back to something you said. Teacher, how do you say este que el más, más grande, right? So I'm going to show you some things that you can use. In fact, hablando de eso, que usamos para comparar, comparing things. For example, we have big. Brazil is big. And then we have something that is called the comparative when we are comparing two things. So we would say, for example, Brazil is bigger than Peru. But if we want to say the most, el, lo que llamamos superlativo, sería el más o el menos de un grupo. And this would be three or more, three or more elements, three or more people, three or more, etc. We would say it like this. Brazil is the biggest country in South America. So those are the comparatives. Let's go into how we use them. So here we have an adjective, for example, glamorous. The Emmy Awards are glamorous. Now, if we're going to compare, we would say the Grammy Awards are more glamorous than the Emmys. And if we're going to talk about the most, we would say the Oscars are the most glamorous award shows. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre este que le mostré y el otro? Que este, comparado con este otro que vimos aquí, este big tiene una sílaba. Y glamorous tiene dos o más. Y los que tienen dos o más sílabas, hacemos esto. En vez de decir bigger o eh, agregarle a la er para comparar dos cosas, usamos la palabra more antes del adjetivo. So, more intelligent, more fantastic, more imaginative, more amazing, more incredible, etc. Y para usar el más, para decir el más, en la que vimos anteriormente, se le pone est al, al adjetivo. Biggest. Pero en este caso, cuando el adjetivo tiene, el adjetivo tiene dos sílabas o más, usamos the most y después la palabra. So, the Oscars are the most glamorous. Say, we teach you, yo como sé cuántas sílabas tiene una palabra. So, tengo dos técnicas. ¿Qué, son, ¿Qué es una sílaba? Son como esas pequeñas pausas que hay dentro de la palabra, ¿cierto? Entonces, we can do two things. One thing is, say the word and try to clap when you think there is a false law. So, glamorous. Three. Pero claro, si usted hace algo de gente, nadie quiere hacerlo así como loco. So, you do, sí. what you can do is you take your hand and you put it very close to your chin. Muy cerca la comanda. And you say the word, glamorous. And the number of times that your chin touches your hand, that is the number of syllables that the word has. That's an easier technique. I say, teacher, you always say para cada palabra, but don't worry, because when you use the vocabulary so much, it becomes automatic. So don't worry. But mm -hmm. we're going to do we're going to do an exercise to practice this. All right. So you're going to tell me, Isa, how do you think, for example, these countries are different? I am going to do Cairo. Uh, uh, these are I'm sorry, these cities. How is Cairo different from Brasilia? So, for example, Cairo, Cairo is in Asia. Uh, Cairo, I think, is drier than Brazil because Brazil is more humid than mm -hmm. Cairo. Uh, I think uh, Brasilia is much bigger than Cairo. Uh, I think Cairo has a, a smaller population uh, because it is a smaller country. And I think that, I think Brazil is more, they have more freedom. Their, mm. their mentality is more free than Cairo. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm thinking here. Uh, so what do you think about New Delhi, which is uh, India? How does it compare to Madrid? What do you think? Um, the language in Madrid oh, it's Spanish and New Delhi I don't know <laughs> <laughs> and New Delhi has many yeah has many yeah yes um it may be uh, I think that um, Madrid is bigger than New Delhi 
<risa> eh, de de culture culture the, very good the culture is is different too uh, I think in in Madrid the culture is is better <laughs> than New Delhi um uh, I'm not sure but maybe the the economy too yeah, I agree with, I agree with you you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, Madrid, you know, Madrid is the, it's the capital of Spain. Spain is the motherland, right? Uh -huh. like, without Spain, who knows? I, I, you know, I always used to think about that. People, I know that in the United States right now, United States, it's it's a very strange time right now. What is happening in the United States? Because for some reason, I grew up in the United States. I lived in New York. I lived in the United States from 1981 to 2003. And, oh. and in that time, of course, you see how, you know, uh, fashion changes, culture changes, people change. But now mm -hmm. I see there's so much discrimination. People are fighting for everything. I see it on the news mm -hmm. here. I like social media and I see, oh, wow, so many things are happening. And, uh, and, I think that here in Latin America, if we were to get angry with Spain because they were they colonized us, nos colonizaron. But you know, without Spain, maybe there would be no Latin America. Who knows mm -hmm. what would happen here in South America? I I think what I do think it would be super cool, Isa, if all of the countries of of Latin America, from Mexico all the way down to Chile. If we came together and became like one unified continent, like the European Union, you know, like Germany and France and Portugal, all these countries and Spain, they all use the, the same money and it, it, they're unified. Oof, if we had that from Mexico, Guatemala, <laughs> uh, you know, Panama, Colombia, Peru, Argentina, Brazil. And we all came together as one country. We would be so amazing. We would be so powerful. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen. But it would be fantastic, right? Imagine mm -hmm. you can take a train from, you can take a train from Guatemala to Peru. Damn, that would be amazing. You know, that would be fantastic. Um, all right. So let's talk about Seoul and Beijing. And you know what I think is very interesting? Do you watch any of these Korean uh, soap operas? Do you watch them? Yes, no, eh, no, o sea, he visto, pero no, no, no mucho, la verdad. Yeah, yeah. Me too, yeah, I've seen two, I don't see a lot, I only, I've seen two, but the two that I saw, I thought they were very interesting, and I think it's very cool how, because of now, you know, the internet, so many people uh, like other cultures, and they're interested in yeah. other cultures, I think that's fantastic, because I think it's cool that we have different cultures and we can learn from each other. Um, but this K-pop sensation and the and the TV shows from Korea, it's crazy, right? How they're so popular. <laughs> Here in Colombia, you see a lot of the young people, they love Korean culture. And I'm like, I mean, like to see somebody that is from a small town here in Dos Quebradas here, a very small town, and they're watching K-pop and they're watching the soap operas from Korea. I'm like, wow, how the world has changed. I think it's fantastic. How do you think Seoul is different from Beijing? Seoul is the capital of, of Korea, of the, the good Korea. <laughs> the good Korea, not the communist Korea, right? The good one. I don't remember. I don't remember if it's the South or North Korea. I don't remember which one is the, the, the bad one. But and Beijing is the capital of China. How do you think they're different, those cultures? Do you think they're different? What do you think? Sorry, teacher. No worries. <laughs> can, no can, can you re repeat me again? Sure. How do you think Seoul, which is the capital of, uh, I don't remember which is the good Korea. I know there's like a bad Korean in a, a, a good Korea. I don't know which one is it. But... What is the difference between Seoul and Beijing? So Beijing is the capital of China. And Seoul, Seoul is the capital of South Korea. 
Okay. So Korea is the good or the bad? The, the good one. <laughs> yes, the good one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm, the the difference is the the language. Oh, is good. The, yeah. uh, um. I I think that the 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 culture too. Um. And uh, China uh, have a lot of people themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, I, I think, I'm not sure, but maybe the politics, polit la politica? Yeah, politics? the politics, yeah. The politics, maybe. Yeah, um, uh, they're different because China is a socialist country. And okay. South Korea is a democracy. So, okay. you know, in China, for example, uh, like legally, people can't use Facebook. They can't use Instagram, none of those social media. They can't use YouTube. It's illegal. So, oh, okay. Of course, you know, people people do, you know, they do illegal things. Bajan, bajan una plat una, un software para poder ver Facebook y todo eso. But it's illegal. They they can't you they they can't use YouTube they can't use Facebook they can't uh they can't say things against the government they cannot mm -hmm. say anything negative about the government or they can get in trouble they can lose their job uh yeah it's a lot of restrictions a lot of rules yeah. and regulations <laughs> mm. so yeah mm. but you're right you're right the culture is very different I agree yeah. uh, let's see. <laughs> Berlin and Bogota. Oof, this one is easy. So, <laughs> Berlin and Bogota. In my opinion, Berlin and Bogota. Eh, oof. I think, <laughs> I think there's a lot of good history in Berlin. Of course, there's a lot of bad history too. Uh, no, no diría que soy un fanático, pero me encanta ver los documentales de la Segunda Guerra Mundial. I don't know why. Oh. I I I watch them all the time. I know everything about the Second World War. I think it's super interesting. I think it's very sad what happened. <laughs> yes. But I think uh, Berlin also has a lot of culture. There is a lot of art. There is a lot of um, a lot of interesting technology was developed in Germany, and of course they are a little bit more developed than we are here in yeah. Colombia. Yeah, and Bogota is very different in, like you say, it's the language, the culture. I think, how do I say this? Como digo esto? <laughs> and that, this is not only for this is not only for uh, Germany. I think many of the of the northern countries, Europe and North America, in, in the majority of the people, like Colombian people, are they're very nice, right? They're very nice. Ay, buenos días and all that stuff. But at the same time, a la misma vez, we're a culture mm -hmm. that we're, no somos muy cívicos. So what do I mean by that? For example, <laughs> it, can be, it can be Wednesday, Wednesday at 11 o'clock and your neighbor will have a party and no problem and put the music 100% noise and they do not care about the neighbors, right? If you are walking in Colombia in the street and the car comes fast, they do not go slow. You have to run or the car will hit you. Where in Germany, it is not like that. So in Colombia, you have to be very careful when you're crossing the street. Uh, uh, you have to be careful if you if your neighbor makes a lot of noise or somebody does something and you know you say something, you never know what kind of violence can happen because mm -hmm. Colombia is violent still. I think we have a lot of things to change with that. But um, I think a lot of the Latin American countries are very similar. Um, Colombia, Bolivia, Peru, Ecuador, I think we still, we have to, we have to mature. Somos como adolescentes todavía. As, as a mm -hmm. country, we're teenagers. And I think the European countries, los Los países europeos ya están en sus treintas, ya, ya pasaron esas. No, they did it already, you know. So I think we mm -hmm. have to mature a little bit more. I think there is more corruption. Eh, so Bogotá is more corrupt than Germany. Of course, there's, cor there's corruption everywhere. There's corruption everywhere. 
but there's a lot of corruption here in Colombia. And um, I think that Bogota, eh, not Bogota, I think Colombia is more beautiful than Germany because here we have more green, we have more yeah. mountains. <laughs> mountains, yeah. But I think Germany has more culture. They have more art. Mm -hmm. They have more they have more space and parks and public areas for people to do things. Here in Colombia, our parks, nuestros parques son de cemento. There you mm -hmm. see a park and it's it's cement. I'm like, this is a park. Where's where's the green? Um, but yeah. So tell me, how do you think Buenos Aires is different than Moscow? Mm, okay. Uh, the language, For Spanish sure. and <laughs> Russo. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the um, the Mo Moscow is bigger than Buenos Aires. Um, the I think that the environment is is different. For sure. I don't know. I don't know why in in our countries, Colombia, Peru, Argentina, etc., are more pollution than in, <laughs> in another country. Yeah, uh, you know why? Because uh, we don't we don't have the um we don't have regulations uh, for it here. Yeah. 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 But um, you know what's different to the weather? How how is the weather different? Oh yeah. Uh, oh yes, in in Moscow the 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 weather is different than Buenos Aires. Oh, in in Buenos Aires, a uh, half a uh, how do you say stations? Yeah, no. um, seasons, 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 seasons. But in, in Moscow, for example, the snow. The, yeah. in, in Argentina, no. <laughs> <laughs> Um, in Argentina, no, in Buenos Aires, no. <laughs> um, the the food is different. Buenos Aires is very famous. The the beef. Oh, and yeah, the beef is Mos very famous. Yeah, everybody in Moscow, talks about I don't the know. meat. <laughs> yes, know. Yeah. the meat. You know what's famous? Um, you know what, what what food is very famous in 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 Russia? Vodka. Oh. Right, the vodka is from uh, Russia, right? Everybody knows that vodka right. is uh, the very famous Russian liquor. Okay. Uh, do you do you drink liquor, Isa? Do you drink any alcohol? No, I don't like drinking anything. Good for you. I don't. <laughs> yes. Good. Yes, that's I... good. Yes. Okay. What What is your guilty pleasure? Cuando digo guilty pleasure, es como su un placer que que quizás le remordimiento moral. For example, me, eh, I when when I'm alone, my family doesn't know. But sometimes when I I, I have to go to the office, my job, oh. and uh, so I don't have to go all the time. But I go once in a while. De vez en cuando voy, and y hay un McDonald's muy cerca. So I stop at the McDonald's and I eat a double quarter pounder with cheese and French fries, <laughs> and and then when I come home. And my wife says, what did you, did you eat anything? Did you eat, you know, hamburgers or no. donuts? I said, no, 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 un pastelito de pollo nomás. Es small. But uh, <laughs> that is my, that is my guilty pleasure. So you don't drink alcohol. What do you, what is your guilty pleasure? Algo que usted dice, ay, no, no debo hacer esto, pero lo hago. Y no, debe, no puede ser, no tiene que ser comida. Puede ser que usted le gusta ver, muy, se sienta un domingo y toda una serie completa. Anything at all. What is your guilty pleasure? Uh, sometimes I sleep a lot. I think that no is really good, but I like it. it <laughs> so yeah. when you sleep, when you don't have to work, right? What do you? What are your days off at work? What are your days off? Only Thursday. Only Thursday. So Wednesday night, you go to sleep and you say, "I I can sleep until very yeah. late tomorrow." <laughs> what time do you wake up on Thursday when you say, "I I can sleep all day." What time do you wake up? Um, depends about 11, 10, 12. Nice. It depends. Yes. Nice. Yes, the best. The best. Yes, I mean. the best. Just to stay in bed and do nothing. Ugh. 
It's the best. Ne. Yeah. Ne. I say the same thing. On Sunday, hay domingos que digo, yo no quiero tocar el piso hasta las 11. That's my, <laughs> that's my plan. But, you know, oh. sometimes I have to get up and make breakfast or something because I'm a father. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Horrible. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Well, you know, um, today is Wednesday. So tomorrow you don't have to work. No, because right? it's Thanksgiving and all is closed. Oh. Everybody stay in the houses and eat turkey. Isa, do, you, do, you, or do you live, um, do you, live uh, you said you live with some cousins or friends, right? Yes, with my cousin and her girlfriend and one friend. Do you guys have any plans for tomorrow? Because it's a special American day. Do you have any plans? Mm, no, because my cousin and her girlfriend work. They're working <laughs> but, tomorrow? Yes. Wow. Yes. That's horrible. <laughs> yes. And my friend, I don't know. I don't talk about it. And I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, make uh, food, but not much rice or something else. <laughs> cool, cool. Well, you know, I when I lived in the United States, my parents, they're both, both my mother and my father are from Pereira. We never celebrated Thanksgiving. Never, never. No? So, no, never. And uh, it was just a normal day. So, uh -huh. for me too, it's a normal day tomorrow. I have to work tomorrow. <laughs> normal day. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. All right. All right. 